a trans, total transformation into something into a new new identity. Uh, I, I think what what became very very prevalent, you know, in a lot of people when we were sheltered in uh, for, during the pandemic was uh, we we started developing uh, these these um these poor eating habits uh, where like you know we, we were just in and because food was just right there and we couldn't go out and and, and get away from it so we just we just oh you know I might as well just go munch on something <laughs> so, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah so and you were you were everything. asking before like what what causes these bad habits to develop and I can say without a doubt it's the lack of awareness of our own habits. I do a lot of this work, you know, the first week with my clients, I say, we're not going to change anything yet. What I want you to do is I want you to become aware of the habits that you do on a daily basis. Because so often we go through life, we're distracted, we're busy, we're always thinking of the next thing. We'd never take a step back, sit down and reflect on why we do what we do, how often we do it. And so, of course, if you don't know what might be causing your problems or your struggles, then how can you possibly begin to change it? That's that's when you got to really sit down and, and, and take the, the moment to think, too. I, I think... Um, one thing we do is like once we once we feel an emotion, we think we got to act on that emotion uh, right away, and and what that does that can really quickly disrupt the peace if you continually to do you know be so impulsive and and so reactatory um, in, in in how you're feeling, and 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 if you add in and if that action is okay, well I, I'm going to grab a, a chip, or I'm going to grab you know, or I'm just going to lay down. Um, and, you know, when you know you should be getting up and, and and maybe you know taking a stroll around around the house a little bit you know something you know whatever you know whatever those small steps you, you, like like you mentioned uh, could can go in place of you know feeling feeling crummy um mm-hmm. you know do, do you do you ever come come across people you know or maybe maybe in your own life where uh where they, they've been you know so reactory you know uh, so impulsive that like you know you, you gotta you got to break break that and, and you make just tell them like hey slow down you know just just think <laughs> it's okay to think give yourself permission to think do i ever come across these people these are the <laughs> only people i come across um because especially when it comes to um our eating habits mm-hmm. this is something that i work on with my clients and i offer like a 7 day free mindful eating challenge because yeah. being mindful and just something as simple as whenever you get an urge to eat something, asking yourself, taking a step back, taking 10 seconds and asking yourself, do I really want this? And am mm-hmm. I hungry? Like that that simple question of am I hungry? We don't even ask ourselves that question anymore. We're just doing it because the cupcake right. is in front of us. And yeah. Uh, um, my clients can all say that just taking that pause and asking themselves that question, it is a game changer and it is so simple and everyone can do that. Yeah. But you, but you know, who else doesn't allow you to, to, to uh, ask that question is those, those doggone advertisers with, <laughs> with the slow music, <laughs> mm-hmm. slow relaxing music and, and the, the, the zoom in shots of the, of the cupcakes and stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so these these guys are notorious, and um, and they do it in the movie theaters too. You know. So, so, yeah, yeah. So, so how how do we get, how do we break those? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, here's the thing: is we're always going to be um, exposed to like the the media trying to get you to buy a certain product and to consume a certain thing. But when you know your own triggers, first of all, and when you're allowing yourself to eat the foods that you really want at any time, instead of feeling like you need to wait until that special occasion, you're not hyping those foods up in your head. 
right? So when you see the cupcake, you're not thinking, I need to have that cupcake right now because it's available. You know that if you don't particularly want that cupcake in that moment or you're not hungry, you can have it tomorrow or the day after without that guilt, without thinking that it has to be this special occasion. And then you're taking away that urgency of having the food right away because you're allowing yourself that unconditional permission to eat it whenever you actually crave it and want it. Hey, that's awesome. Well, that that does put a little bit more lighter weight to carry, you know, in your in your backpack. Um, literally, if you want to put something in your backpack, you can put something in your backpack and pipe pack it lighter. Hey, Sabrina, this is this is incredible information. So, you know, as, as we you know approach like uh, you know the thirty minute mark here, you know, um, I, I I definitely. Like, you know, as, a, as an athlete yourself, um, former athlete uh, that, you know, um, uh, definitely, definitely got, you know, uh, rolled into this uh, this line of work and you really put a, a big emphasis on uh, self-care and, and the importance of that. Uh, when, when we think about uh, uh, Simone Biles uh, and uh, Naomi Asaki and, and a, a lot of other uh, athletes that's just now coming out and saying, hey, you know, um, time for some self-care. Um, you know, what, what are your thoughts on that? You know, and, um, and, you know, and if you were to work with, work, work with them, you know, um, you know, hypothetically, you know, you know, that would be the dream client, of course, Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you know, how, how would you approach, you know, the conversation? Yeah. I mean, I think it's our, our mental health is number one. It's mm -hmm. the thing that carries, we carry everywhere. It's the thing that affects every single decision we make, whether it's with our relationships, whether it's the decisions we make for our own health, our careers, our family. And mm -hmm. to put that on the back burner for a goal that's going to be temporary, even a goal as big as the Olympics, I think that you always have to come back to what is the most important and, and what is going to be with me forever. And I absolutely admire these athletes that are coming out and saying, yeah. yes, I may have been training my entire life for this, but especially let's say in Simone Biles' case, it could be physically dangerous for me to compete where my mental health is not where it's at. It's being able to not feel selfish and not feel like you're letting people down in the end you are the most important person and i tell this to my clients as well if you're not taking care of yourself because you think that you always need to be taking care of other people you're just trying to pour from an empty cup and you're not you're not serving anyone right because if you're not taking care of yourself first, you're not able to take care of other people. Hey, you got that right. And um, some people really just try to like antagonize you. They will, uh, they will put you on a grill and, and try to barbecue you because you said maybe once out of maybe a thousand times, finally, <laughs> they're like, hey, I'm just going to do something for me. You yeah. Know? So um, the people pleasing it's at an all-time high, um, and uh, I think um, it's about time we do advocate for ourselves a little bit more, and uh, there's nothing selfish about self-care. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you are an advocate, advocate for uh, mental health, and, and, and that's in, heavily involved in your practice. Um, uh, so if, if there was anything that, you know, that we haven't uh, talked about today, you know, that you want to put out there, um, what, what, what would that be? So if any of your listeners are people, especially women who are right now struggling with their own health and they feel like there is something broken with them, like nothing will ever work for them, like they've tried everything out there and they might be afraid of what if I let go of dieting, you know, what if I try something different and I actually um, remove the rules and remove the restrictions